today we've got the brand new Dior Forever Makeup Glow Primer. Yes, Dior just launched two primers. They have a matte one and the glow one. But if you are a ride or die fan of the channel, you guys know that my all-time favorite foundation is the original Dior Glow. That is like the most prettiest foundation. It was my favorite for forever. So I'm excited to try this, to test this out. I'm going to apply it on bare skin, just clean natural skin. And on this side of my face, I will apply some moisturizer so you guys can see the difference. So for moisturizer today, I'm just going to go in with the Tatcha Water Cream. Pick up a little bit, just tap that on and blend it into this side of my face. What is your favorite moisturizer right now? Let me know in the comments down below. I have been going through it. Obviously we're here in Toronto. It has been cold these last couple of days and my skin is just going through this like cold weather change. This is the primer right here. This is made in France. It's good for 12 months. This just says it's a 24 hour hydrating radiant primer. I'm excited for this. I mean, I've tried it a couple of times this week. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's just a very liquidy, smooth primer. I'm just gonna rub a little bit of that into my hand. There's a slight sheen to it, but there's no glitter. This reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona primer, but this is like a muted down version of that. Like it's so, it has like that ingredient in it, that pearlescent ingredient, but it's not intense like hers. So this one is really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna take two pumps of this on my fingertips. We're just going to rub that around, really emulsify it. And I'm just going to sweep in an upward motion on my face to apply that primer to both sides. It is very important that you drag up. Now, the side that doesn't have any moisturizer on it, it actually glides on super, super easy. There's a nice tack to it. The side that does have the moisturizer, it's just sitting on there beautifully. It's not pilling. It is going on super smooth. I honestly like the moisturized side a little bit better. I feel like it's just a little bit more glowy than this side when I look in the monitor. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think because this is looking amazing. Like I could literally just go out and wear this without any foundation on. Like this is pretty. The sheen is gorgeous. This is looking very luminous. It's very, very pretty. So this is the Dior Skin Glow Foundation. This is the color 1CR. I'm just gonna give this a good shake. So I usually go in with two pumps. Grab your favorite foundation applicator. Today I'm gonna be using a brush. I'm just gonna tap into that. So I'm going to start with the side without the moisturizer just to apply this. So far it blends really, really nice. I have zero issues blending that out. That is really, really nice. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that product on my brush and I'm gonna go into the other side of my face, the one that has the moisturizer underneath. Stunning. Always go in, add a little bit of foundation to your ears so everything matches, drag it down your neck. All right. So this week I've tested this out a couple of different ways. I've tested it out under different SPFs and I've tested this out under different foundations as well, including the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin and the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Still super beautiful. This looks amazing. It is glowy. It doesn't fall apart even if you have a mask on throughout the day. Now obviously I'm in Toronto. This is a cold season. It is January. So this is just one of those foundations that lasts. You have that automatic hydration throughout the day. It is stunning. I love it. A 
great primer, super, super amazing. And would I recommend it? Yes, 100%. Now, if you guys want me to review the matte version of this, let me know in the comments down below because I can pick that up and review it for you guys. On the marketing material for this, it claims that this delivers up to 24 hours of hydration. Now, I have worn this for you guys a lot this week, and yes, I believe it does, especially when you actually put another moisturizer to give that barrier under it. That helps a lot. Now, speaking of moisturizers, I love this side, the moisturized side versus the non-moisturized side, but you could go in and wear this without any foundation and looks stunning. You're gonna look glowing, hydrated like a goddess. So this is amazing. Now, would I recommend it? 100%, 100%. And that is not me being biased because I love Dior as a brand and I love their glow foundation. Again, one of my ride or die favorites, but this is just absolutely amazing. Not sponsored, just super loving it. That being said, anything would be better than the Peter Thomas Roth primer that I tried for you guys last week. If you haven't seen it, check it out right here. That fell apart in 40 minutes and two hours later, oh my God, <laughs> hot mess. Definitely watch that video. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye.